Alright, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Nick and uh, this is a video tutorial on um, how to get some free textures uh, with uh, normal maps and specular maps uh, for Element 3D. Uh, so a great program for Video Copilot. Highly re recommend you go out and buy it. Um, so let's get started. A uh, great place to get uh, some of these textures is from uh, ShareCG and they got a lot of good uh, textures as well as 3D models and art and stuff like that that you can use in your projects. Some are for commercial use, some are for personal use. Uh, this guy here, uh, Nobiax, he uh, gives them all away for free and you've got uh, unlimited use. Um, so we're going to be downloading this one here and as you can see, unrestricted use. You can use it for whatever you want, which is great. Um, so I've already downloaded it <coughs> and um, you can just uh, go into it and um, you have to unzip it. Uh, so I'll just extract the file. <coughs> So uh, open up the, uh, and there's uh, five textures that come in the packs, so we'll just start with the first one here, and you can see a preview, so that's uh, pretty cool. Um, one thing you do have to do though is uh, put them into Photoshop, so we will uh, drag and drop them in here, and uh, you just need to save them, so, uh, save as a, I'm going to save as a PNG, but you can save as a PNG or a JPEG. <coughs> S for all of these. Um, save them down. So you can see there's a specular map, there's a normal map, and then there's the uh, diffuse map um, all there. And so now that those are all saved, I'm going to close all those down. Let's open up uh, After Effects. And we'll go into the scene setup of Element 3D. And we've already got a model loaded here. Um, I'm using one that's got some flat surfaces and some, some curved surfaces as well. So we can kind of take a look and see what it looks like. Um, and you can just drag and drop these right into the uh, Element 3D um, onto their perspective uh, slot. And we're ready to go. You can see already uh, it's looking pretty good. But um, it doesn't wrap perfectly, but uh, you can still see it's pretty good. Uh, we can play around with some of the, uh, the intensity and uh, different things like that, get some different effects. Let's try a different model for fun. So that's pretty good. You can say there's see there's a decent amount of detail, uh, which is really nice. Um, let me up here. Uh, so that's uh, that's good. Um, this would be obviously good for like a floor or maybe a wall or something like that. Uh, you can see uh, I'll just bring down the normals here. You can see what it looks like flat, and uh, really, you know, it doesn't have that much depth. And then uh, you kind of bring in the bring up the normal amount here. You can really see it start to take shape, and uh, it's got some pretty good, pretty good detail. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So I usually like to rename it uh, whatever the pattern was. In this case, it was 40, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, save it as a material preset so I can apply it to anything. And I've just saved them all under Mobix pattern such and such. Um, and that way I know, you know, that's uh, that's one of his. It's uh, okay to use that texture in commercial use or uh, personal use. Um, so it's a good way to kind of keep things organized. Um, and then you can uh, kind of apply it to anything. We could take a primitive here and um, just kind of see how it looks. Also, go in and kind of change the uh, the number of times the UV repeats, and uh, make it look a little better. So that looks pretty good, and you can see that fully fully tiles. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, go back into Element here. Okay, so we're uh, back in uh, After Effects, and I uh, just kind of wanted to uh, you know kind of run through this uh, here, so you can kind of see some of the detail, um, and kind of what it would look uh, like back in. Effects. So you can see uh, quite a lot of detail. It's a pretty good uh, model. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, sphere, yeah, I think I deleted it. Uh, give me my sphere back. Give me my sphere. There we go. Um, so yeah, uh, around the sphere it's uh, perfectly tileable, uh, seamless. You know, obviously you're going to see some of the seams and some of the other things. Uh, depending on where the texture 
depends. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So it's uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, they're free. You can use them in anything. Uh, I think they're great. Um, again, that uh, is this this dude here, uh, Novix uh, on Share CG uh, for, for commercial use, personal use. It's great. Um, there's some other ones as well. The only thing, uh, just remember, yeah, you do have to convert them in uh, Photoshop from uh, the uh, TGA file um, over to a PNG or a JPEG in order to make them work into uh, After Effects. Thanks for watching.